my razor electric dip bike. It's very cool, but it's kind of slow. So let's modify it. Bolts are proportionate to speed. Ants are proportionate to torque. Increase the voltage, increase the speed. Increase the amperage, increase the power. So we are going to install a higher voltage battery and a more powerful computer. Once we remove the plastics, we can remove the batteries and the speed controllers. Um, the battery looks like it was made before I was born. It's 12 volt, 5 amp power. These little batteries are 3.6 volt. There's 14 of them and I need to make a 24 volt battery. Each battery is 4.2 amps. I drew a picture so that we can calculate the battery that we can make. Let's work it out in the 7S2P format. 3.6 times 7 equals 25.2 volts. 4.2 times 2 equals 8.4 amp hours. This turtle here is a flying turtle and it's attached to this motorbike because before it's it's slow but, but soon it's got to be fast. That's why I draw the cheetah over, cheetah over here. This is the old computer. It's called an electronic speed controller. It's rated at 150 watts. This new one is 250 watts. I also got a new variable throttle. This old one is just an on off switch. With all this extra power, the motor is going to get hot. So we're going to install this heat sink to keep it cool. We're going to glue it on this JB Well High Temp Barrel Epoxy. The heat sink is epoxied on and I relocated the speed controller because the new battery was a little bit taller so it didn't fit. So, how fast is it? Faster than a dog! On my dad's electric skateboard. He's pushing my board. Holy. Fast enough to push the tails into sand. I went for a bit of a trail ride with my dad. See you later. Yeah, you probably wanted to know how hot the motor got. Well, so after a 4K trail ride, it can. It can go up a glass hill. The motor got to 36 degrees. As you can see, the heat sink seems to be working. On the same ride, my dad's skateboard motor are over 40 degrees. Okay, bye. For real this time.